Welcome to How to Optimize a Wood Gas Can Stove, where I'm going to try to help you with a few tricks on how to make your wood gas stove work better. Over the last several months, I've had questions from subscribers as well as non-subscribers asking them how to optimize their wood gas stove and help them with gaining powerful jets. Uh, hopefully this video will help everyone understand a little better about wood gas stoves and how to optimize them. In the background, you've been watching my version 5.4. Please watch the video and learn how to build that one. This next can stove that you see uh, it was the first can stove that I built. It had an outer can that was 3 eighths of an inch in diameter and had eight 3 eighths inch diameter holes uh, three eighths of an inch up from the bottom. And the inner can was three inches in diameter and it had eight three sixteenths diameter holes around the top and eight three eighths diameter holes around the bottom. Uh, this can I was Im pretty impressed with when I first built it, but shortly after I lit it, I became less impressed. Uh, the flame formed sort of a dome over the top and really had no jets and the only jets that you could see were eight little bulbs of blue flame around the side. I considered this can stove a colossal failure and I almost quit messing with them uh, but then I became determined and I wanted to build one that I could be proud of. After reviewing my results and thinking about it for a while I realized that maybe the inner can was too close to the same diameter as the outer can. So I increased the outer can diameter by about 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, this allowed much more air to flow freely from the in fresh air intake all the way up to the secondary uh, air port. Uh, right from the beginning of the burn it was obvious that I had done something good. Uh, I could definitely see all of the jets at this point, uh, and they were creating a very nice flame. Uh, the only issues that I had with this flame were it didn't look like the jets were extremely powerful, and it did a lot of flickering. At the end of the burn, uh, it smoked a little bit, and there seemed to be extra charcoal left in the bottom. So I decided I would add more primary air. Uh, that should allow for a better burn near the end and allow for maybe some more powerful flame. Uh, so I increased the primary air hole uh, and made a lot more of them. Uh, and it did definitely make more powerful jets. Uh, and it was a much brighter flame. And at the end of the burn, it didn't seem to smoke as much, uh, and there was definitely less charcoal uh, left over in the bottom. So increasing the primary air definitely increased the power of the jet and the efficiency of the fuel consumption. At the end of that burn, it uh, still smoked, but it was a very little amount of smoke, and there was even less char. So I decided to increase the amount of holes around the primary end of the inner can again. Uh, after doing that, my jets were very powerful. Uh, it seemed like I had a bluer flame uh, right where it was coming out of the jet. And um, the burn looked really, really nice. Uh, at the end of the burn, uh, there was absolutely no smoke. Once I had found the point where there was no smoke at the end of the burn, I declared the primary air port optimized. Uh, I was very happy with the way it was burning, but I knew that if I played with the secondary air port, uh, I could probably come up with even a more optimized scenario. At this point, I made a new inner can and kept the primary air exactly like the optimized primary air from the last scan, and added eight 8 inch holes around the top for the secondary hole. At the beginning of the burn, I could tell 
that I just was not getting enough flow to the top. I had gone back to almost that same dome that I started with when I first built the stove, and um, I did not have very powerful jets. Because of the appearance of the flame, I decided to double the amount of intake uh, going into the secondary air and went to 16 holes from 8 holes. The flame definitely looked better, but it was still a weak flame. Uh, so this led me to believe that I needed to increase the diameter. So I increased the diameter of the 16 secondary air ports from 1 8 of an inch to 3 16 of an inch. That definitely made a difference uh, with the power of the flame. It was um, giving me nice strong jets and at 15 minutes it was very strong jets and a very nice consistent flame. So ultimately, in my opinion, uh, this is the type of flame that you want to see coming out of your wood gas stove. Uh, you need nice strong jets. The jets should meet in the middle um, and give you a nice powerful flame. And the final confirmation that you have optimized your stove is that it smokes free throughout the entire burn, including when the stove finally goes out. As you can see here, when the flame does go out, there is no smoke. And thank you for joining me on how to optimize a wood gas stove. Here in the background, uh, you can see my version 5.4. Vortex, which I still love the, to watch it burn. Uh, and thanks for joining me. Goodbye.